Hey garden friends, happy Friday. It's a beautiful Friday. It's 75 degrees. It's perfect. It's breezy. It's sunny. The sky is blue. It's just a gorgeous Friday. I'm happy to be alive and be playing in my garden. And today I'll be planting beautiful Athana capenses, aka ruby necklace. And I'll get this a little closer here so you can see it a little better. So Athana capenses. I also know it as little pickles. So cute, right? But as you can see, why you know you can see why they call them little pickles because the leaves are super juicy, they're fleshy, they're long and narrow, and their primary color is green, but their secondary color is purple. They can even turn like almost black, like just dark, dark purple. And you see the stems here? They grow on like these beautiful purple stems. So the, the leaves become that color or even darker. And check out this cluster. It's just so beautiful. I have five of them. And I'll be planting them in this hypertufa pot. And this is a little taller. I made it out of a nursery pot, like a six inch nursery pot. And it's a little taller because I know those plants, those stems are gonna trail over and get super long. So I didn't wanna put it in like a, a short planter. So I think this will work nicely. But let's talk a little bit more about this plant. So yes, it's a fast growing succulent. So that's always good. They can, they're suitable for indoors, like by a windowsill. You know, you have to watch out for the watering if you're gonna keep it indoors, but it'll do well indoors. I mean, that's always a bonus with succulents because let's get real. Succulents are outdoor plants. They're not indoor plants. They will perform much better outdoors with like excellent air circulation, bright and direct sun. And this one has obviously been in indirect sunlight because they're still nice and green. But if I give them enough sunlight, maybe in the morning, if I give them morning sunlight, maybe like no more than four or five hours, they'll start to turn into that purple color. You don't want to give them too much sun because they will burn. You know, even though you give them tons and tons of water, they'll start to shrivel up and they won't grow as long. But if you just give them just enough sunlight, they'll grow nice and long, meaning the stems will grow nice and long, and they'll start to bloom. They bloom beautiful daisy-like flowers. I mean, it's just a gorgeous plant. So they'll, they'll grow these little daisy-like yellow flowers all over. It's so gorgeous. This plant is perfect for like a hanging basket. But I only have a, a little, like I said, I only have five right now that I can fit in here. I wish that I could, you know, spare, spare enough for a huge hanging basket for sure. But I'll get started now that we know a little bit about this plant. It's, you know, I love trailing succulents and it's a different one. It's not like, you know, I, I know that like um, string of pearls. That's a more common trailing plant. This one's a little different. You know, a little harder to find. You don't you don't see them at nurseries a whole lot, you know? So I'm pretty excited to have it in stock. I mean, if you do want to try this one on your own, you can always go to suckycrafts.com and get yourself a little two-incher. Okay, so I'll start in the center here because that's how I like to start my planters. Right in the center, or at least the round ones where it's just one plant, one variety. I like to start in the center and then work around the main plant. So I made a little well, I placed it right in and you have to be gentle with this one. The, the little leaves will fall pretty easily. And if they do, just stick them right into the soil, back into the soil. So I'll make another well here. Now grab another little cluster here that I have. Super gentle, and kind of just put it right in. Don't mess with it too much. Oh, so beautiful. Just love it. There's something going on in the highway, like there's cops all over the place and <laughs> cars honking as you can hear 
don't really know what's going on though. Not the best time to make a video, huh? Ugh. Oh well. It's done. Alright, got another cluster here that I'll put right in front of that main cluster that I started with. There's so many things going on these days that you just never know. Like you see, I just lost a little leaf there and I, it kind of tore off, but I'll still be hopeful and kind of just stick it in the soil there. And maybe it'll make another pop. Maybe it will. And I'll do another, so I have two more clusters. So I'll focus on putting one right here and then putting one another, another one right here. There we go. I hope everyone's having a beautiful Friday. Things seem to be going back to normal when it comes to the you know what, I don't wanna even say the word, but you know. People seem to be going back to work. There's a lot more traffic around here. Oh, that's beautiful. This side's already trailing. So beautiful. It doesn't take much either, you know. So go and fill this little spot here. And that is just easy. And the watering. Okay, so I noticed that this plant grows a lot better when I keep the soil nice and moist. Not too wet, just moist. Because when the soil gets too dry, it doesn't, they don't seem to like that very much. But if you're not sure about the watering, you know, if you're a beginner, I, I just recommend that you use a moisture meter for sure. Because it'll always tell you if it's moist or if it's dry. But you can kind of tell, you know, by lifting the planter up, if the planter is still kind of heavy, that means that there's still water there and that you shouldn't water. You should just wait for the planter to, to get nice and light. But like I said, you know, there's there's a balance. It can't be too dry, but it can't be too wet. You know, it's a trial and error with these plants, for sure. So now that I'm done, I'll add a little more soil around because I can still see some roots there. I was very gentle and I didn't really like bury them deeply in there because I didn't want to lose any more leaves. So I'll just go around and I won't be putting stones around this one. I'm just going to let it be, but I am going to fill it up with more soil because I want all those roots to be buried under soil. Don't want them to be sticking up because the roots will just dry up immediately. And you know, the roots to a plant is what helps the plant absorb the nutrients and the water. So it's very important that you get at least the roots in there. So I'm always looking out for that. So if I see some roots sticking up, I'll just add more soil to the top of them. And I see this little part here needs a little more soil. So you see how easy it is. You know, all you have to be is a little gentle with them Put them in a tall planter, a hanging planter, a basket, and sooner or later, because it's fast growing, you'll get that trailing effect that we all love. And for me, it's more important to have the trailing to, to grow them nice and healthy so they can grow nice and long um, instead of having them get colorful. But that's just me. You know, I'd rather have healthy succulents. I mean, of course, it would be a bonus if they would turn purple of course and this leaf isn't looking too good so i'm just gonna pop it off right there but look at that that was it oh my goodness so pretty i'm gonna get my jumbo brush here and just brush some of this soil out of the way oh look at that oh my goodness so pretty they look like little green beans to me oh and that's all there is to it 
So if you want to try it out, go to suckycrafts.com and get yourself a little two-incher and tell me how it goes. Well, I hope that I can keep them alive and hopefully I can give them enough light without burning them so they can turn that purple color and I can update you on how they're looking. And we'll see how long it takes. And you can see I <laughs> popped another leaf. Very, very fragile. Ah, but you gotta love them, right? All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. So until next time, guys, bye.